This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Something that's become kind of fascinating for me uh, is kind of a bit of a late discovery of boss pedals for me because, I don't know, it's something that I wasn't really into pedals um, growing up. I, I had kind of channel switching amplifiers. And then necessarily, I think what we see a lot of um, marketing for and a lot of hype around are, are pedals that are, you know, a bit more expensive, a bit more flashy, maybe in some cases a bit older as well. So, you know, things like Zen Drives, things like, um, well, you name it, you know, you're, you're, you know about boutique pedals more than I do. Kind of the thinking around, you know, I've seen as a couple of, of people that kind of influenced this video, Prince used to have pretty much like just an entirely boss pedal board, right? That he would take into the studio. And I may have even gigged that thing as well. Um, and someone sent me a, a DM of that, I think. And I've seen that as well before elsewhere. And also I think Ingve Malmsteen has a pretty heavily boss populated pedal board. Um, I'm not sure if this has always been the way, but I've certainly seen like pretty much exclusively boss pedals on there. So I wanted to put together a little board um, just kind of for fun around the idea of what if you could only use one brand? What if you could only use boss? What would be on there? And it turns out that some of my favorite pedals are actually on it. And there's not a ton that I'm missing from this. Um, so I, I thought it could be a fun video. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you tried this sort of thing. Uh, if there was one pedal brand for you, what would it be? I'd like to know that as a as a sort of fun question. I think Ibanez 
some of the older Ibanez stuff might be a good shout. You might be able to do the similar sort of thing to this with that. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you mix and match? Are you a, a boss disciple? They have a name for that, do they? I don't know. A bossite. A boss-eyed guy. They call you the boss. Bruce. I don't know. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments and um, I'll show you the board now and how, how I'm uh, dealing with it. By the way, Ingve is on Truefire and I've not checked out his course yet, but if you wanted to, you could use the code GNC40 to get 40% off or GNC100 to get $100 off of their entire masterclass. Truefire sponsor this channel and they really do help to keep the lights on um, and keep the baby in nappies. So um, uh, if you find stuff on there that you're into, Eric Haugen has some really cool lessons that I've been dipping in and out of lately on pentatonic double stops. Eric Johnson has uh, a masterclass on there and an in the jam. Of course, Eric Johnson, I'm a huge fan of. Andy Timmons. There's like the, the thing that I like about Truefire is there's real world players on there that I, I knew before I knew about Truefire. You know, Robin Ford, Andy Timmons. There's um, Martin Taylor, Tim Lurch. Do you know what I mean? Like it's actual real players that I listen to their music. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, JNC40 to get 40% off of any individual course or use JNC100 to get $100 off of their masterclass. But yeah, boss board. What we've actually got on the board here, actually a few of these are kind of my favorite pedals for certain things. I think this is probably my favorite chorus pedal that I've tried, not that I've tried that many. Uh, so my clean. Just going to Helix Native for this. There's one pedal on here I'm not sure about. This is Tony from Up The Road's DD3. Let's turn the feedback back a bit and the effect level up. But it's kind of really just even just those two pedals. Just a really nice kind of um, combination. Then I guess let's talk about the Angry Driver. This is one of my fa favorite drive pedals going. I got this switch pedal that Chris sent over. Chris Butler, friend of the whoever's running this channel. Mm. That gives me access to this, the Angry Driver's uh, blue driver side. Take that effect level back down a bit. We've got kind of that um, mid-level kind of... Or then we got just a straightforward kind of rhythm. The Angry Driver, I think, a really, really cracking pedal. Then, this, another of my favorite Boss Drive pedals, the Boss OD3.
which I can stack with this. <laughs> I could even get super 80. Let me know what would be on your all boss pedal. Could you do this? Or are there some non-negotiables for you? If you've got like pedals that would never be off of your board, let folks know in the comments. Or if there are some sleeper boss pedals that you think other folks should know about, let them know. Cheers for stopping by.